Hey there, it's Helen with Sephora Pro, and I'm here today to teach you this holiday look that I'm wearing called Crimson Frost. It's an awesome way to mix matte and metallics to create the perfect party look. I got started by applying some foundation. Uh, it's just a nice natural um, finish. We're going to go ahead and sculpt the face. I'm choosing to use a liquid highlighter and just apply it with your fingers to the high points of your face. With liquid highlighters, you can really just tap them on with your fingers. You can even apply a bit on your chin and your cupid's bow as well. Now that I've completed the highlight, I'm going to contour my cheeks using a number 54 brush and a sculpting powder. And I always contour in an upward motion so that it gives the illusion that your cheeks are a little bit higher. Now that step is finished, I'm going to add a pop of color to my cheeks using a cream blush. I'm choosing to use the number 75 brush That rosy hue really enlivens your face a bit before you apply the setting powder. Using the number 73 brush, I don't want powder everywhere because I want it to still be a little bit radiant and natural. I always like to do my eyes after I've completed my foundation and cheek color. I'm going to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. The next step is to grab a bone colored eyeshadow and apply that all over the lid. I'm using the number 12 all over eyeshadow brush. Once I have that on, I can go ahead and apply my icy metallic silver color. I'm using a number 27 brush. And I like to tap first and then sweep the color on. And that's just so I don't get a lot of silver shadow fallout. Then I like to add a little bit more definition using a deeper gray metallic shadow. And just applying it directly almost right onto my lashes to add a little bit more definition on the outer edge of my eye. You can move on to the final step of the eye, which is mascara. I'm going to apply a couple coats of mascara. Next, I like to frame my eye using a brow powder. This is just a little bit more subtle than a traditional brow pencil. The key step to finalizing your brow is to comb through the color. It really allows the color to sort of blend flawlessly into the brows. Now that I've finished my eye, I can move on to lips. You want to create a nice line all around your lips to ensure that there is no bleeding and it just adds that added shape um, and perfection to the lip. Next, we are going to apply the matte lip color. You want to apply it with a brush. It just ensures that you have the most perfect application that you can get. And there we have it, Crimson Frost, a great way to mix matte and metallics this holiday season.